hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm making a father's day gift for my hubby and i'd like to share the cricket newbies on how to place htv on a fabric but first i'm going to trim my htv since i already know how big the image i'm going to use for my project and now that i'm done cutting the htv let's just go on ahead and go to design space let's go to upload upload then browse i saved the file on my desktop and it's right here Click on the folder and I'm going to choose the one with the SVG format. I'm not sure why this pops up, but I usually just click continue. And if anyone knows why it does that, please let me know if I need to fix anything. But anyway, after you click continue, it will take you to the screen. Name the file, put a tag if you like, then click save. Click on the image and then click insert. Now that we're on our workspace, I'm just going to bring up the image up in the corner for a better view. And the size of the image that I want is six inches in height and it's right up here if you decided to change the size to your liking. And on the right side panel, you will see that there are four layers that are grouped. If you click the ungroup, you can go ahead and click the layers or if you want to change the fonts on the dad, it's up to you. So let's just say you wanted to use a different font. So click on text, type your text. Then up here, click on curve and just grab that circle and slide it to right or left. Just play with it and see how much curve you need for your project. And if you want to resize your image, you can also click on this bottom corner to do that. And then up here, this is where you can change your font. Okay, so let's move on to the next step. On the top panel, I'm going to select all, which it will select all of the layers, and then I'm going to click attach. So the reason I'm doing this is because I plan to cut all of the layers on one mat with one color of HTV. Then click make it. So on the screen, it shows you the mat and it tells you right here, it confirms the cut. You can choose the size of the material you're using right here. We know we are using HTV, so I'm going to turn on the mirror. And this is where you can zoom in to view your image. Let's go ahead and click continue. Now I'm going to choose what settings I'm going to need for this project. And I'm just going to choose iron on. And right here you can choose the pressure for more or less, but I'm staying on default. Now I'm going to place the HTV onto the mat. Ensure that the vinyl is side up and the shiny side is down. And if you're still not sure which side is the vinyl, just grab your weeder, poke and pull from the corner up here so you can see if you're able to find it. And I'm going to bring my mat to my machine to load and then just click start. Now that it's done cutting, I'm going to fold the mat like in a taco shape and I'm just going to remove the HTV away from the mat. And always put the protector sheet back on to protect your mat from getting dust, pet hair, basically just getting the mat dirty. And I put a washi tape on my protector sheet to know which way is the right side up. Now it's time to weed and I always start on the top right corner to grab the vinyl that I don't need and just pull. And this is a free SVG file that you guys can have. Just go to my blog at ccdsmith.com which I will link under the description box. Now that I'm done weeding, I'm just going to prepare the sweatshirt and I'm going to remove the tag and then I'm just going to fold this in half.
and I'm going to use my easy press to make that crease in the middle. Then fold the HTV in half and pinch the top and bottom to make a crease. And we're going to line up the crease onto the crease that's on the sweatshirt. And I'm placing the HTV 3 and 3 quarters from the neck down. What's nice about the HTV is that if you don't feel the placement isn't right, you can always lift and move the vinyl around till you find the right placement before pressing. I am now going to press and I have the easy press at 335 and I'm going to press for 30 seconds. Just please be careful, it is extremely hot. I just let it cool down a bit and then I'm going to remove the carrier. You don't need to do this step, but I like to press again for another 10 seconds. But if you want to do the same, just place a Teflon sheet if you have one. If not, you can always use a parchment paper or a thin towel between the press and the vinyl. And that's it. Alright you guys, let me know what you think of this tutorial. Or if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like or leave me a comment. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you for watching and God bless.